Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel by Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Contact Management System. So without much delay, let's begin. We will be seeing the requirements of this project first. You will be requiring an IDE or an integrated development environment for running and compiling the source code. You will be requiring a text editor to write your code and run it as well. So you may use any text editor as per your choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, an operating system. Again, depends on you which operating system you want to work with, but the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. Now we'll be moving towards the code part, which is quite important. So here we have all the header files included first. Then we have a structure named contacts where we have uh, the data types like long and char, that is character. In long, we have a name variable called phone. And in character, we have certain arrays like n, add, mail ID. Then we have a character array named query of 20 length. And we have file pointers like FP and FT. We'll be looking at what does this do in the future coming forthcoming slides. Then we have this uh, variable called int uh, where we have data type int where we have five variables is i, n, c, h, l found. Then we have the main function. In the main function, we have the main menu, which welcomes us by telling welcome to contact management system and shows us the list of optional functionalities which it can perform. Like the add contacts, list of contacts, search contacts, and it will ask you to enter your choice. After entering your choice, it will ask you to go for it, like uh, to go for the switch case where you want, you can press any key as per your choice, like case zero, case one, case two, case three. Then the case zero is to actually exit. If you want to exit, then you can go for the case zero. For case one, you have to add new contacts. Like uh, there will be a file named contact in which all the stuff or all the required important information about the contacts are being stored. So whatever you're deleting, modifying, entering, it will be done through the file handling process here used in C++ and the name of this contact file is contact.dll. Then here basically you have to add the contacts, the phone number, the address, the mail ID, all this kind uh, and the person's ID. All this important information needs to be added. Then in the case two, it will display you the list of contacts, like whatever from the file, whatever contacts are already inputted, those will be displayed to the user along with the name, phone ID, address, mail ID, etc. And then we have to search for a particular contact. Like in the contact management system, if you want to search a contact a person's name, so this is gonna be done by the contact search. So here basically it will ask you to enter any ID or any the unique ID through which it can search you in the contact management. Again, it will drive you towards the file, the contact.dll file and accordingly you will, the information will be displayed on the screen. Again, the name, ID, phone, address, all those stuff will be displayed. If the ID is not found. If the person is not found in the list, it will simply display that, sorry, no match found. If it is found, it will display that, yeah, the match has been found and this is the result. And it will also ask you if you want to try again. Like if the contact is not found and by mistake, if you have entered something wrong, it will ask you if you want to try again. If yes, again, you have to repeat the procedure. If no, then you can be driven out from the code. Then this is edit edit contact. Like whatever you need to edit again, it will there will be two files here. One is the contact.dll file and one is temp temp.dat file. So what uh, does this temp.dat file do? Like whatever you are going to modify, the previously stored information is going to be stored in temporary.dat file because maybe you should have a back backup of whatever you have because. In the future, you may need that stuff. So basically, it is very safe to have a backup of all the deleted or the modified files. 
So after editing, the final information will be displayed. Then the delete contacts. So again, if there is a contact which is of no use, now you can delete it. But again, for future reference, you, you should have a temporary backup of the deleted contacts so that you can go to it and you can retrie retrieve the information whenever you want to retrieve to. So again, it will ask you to enter the choice. Uh, like in the main screen, in the home screen, it will ask you to enter the choice whether you want to go for the main menu or you want to exit the code. Then if you select on one, it will show you all the basic functionalities. And if you select something except one and two, it will it will show you that sorry, uh, it's invalid entry, and you are go you are uh, whatever you are inputting this request can't be satisfied or this request can't be performed, completed. So this is the end of the code. I hope you understood the working of the code. Now we'll be moving towards the implementation part. So this is basically the code the practical code. So now let me run it. So here you can see we, I'm running the code on the terminal. Then we'll have a look at how does this code basically work. See, it is displayed. Welcome to contact management system homepage. It will ask you to enter your choice. I want to add contacts. So what's my name? My name is Simran. I have added my phone number. Suppose. Okay. This is my phone number. It's asking my address. My address will be say. Okay. Mail ID. Mail ID say. Okay. So again, it is asking me my name. Okay. So I have added some names. These are the names which I've added. Uh, now I'll be looking again, like what I have I added and is that stored or not? So we already had a list of contacts. As you can see here, I entered the choice to I have entered my name, my phone number, my address and my mail ID. So let's again go to the main menu. Now I will be editing the contact. So it is asking me the name of the contact to be edited. So I wrote it Simran. Then uh, what was the name what I, I want? The name I want the same. The number I have to change. So this is the number which I need. Then the address, like uh, the address I am going to have this address. And the mail ID. So mail ID is this. Then again, I have to go to the main menu. Now let me see the list of contacts. So see, the thing has been changed. Now we'll be again moving towards the main menu. Now I have to delete a contact. So I have entered the name of the contact to be deleted. So this contact will be deleted right now. So let me see the list of contacts. See, the previous contact was deleted. Like what contact I had before, that contact was deleted. Again, I go to the main menu and uh, I understood the functionalities. Now I'll be exiting the code. So I exited. So again, I'll press zero. So here I exit. I'm getting out of the code. So I hope you understood the implementation of the code. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel to get more interesting project ideas. Thank you and have a great day.